Donald Trump's bog depleting is going to start decisively, with political lawbreakers around the nation hiding lower leg screens, house fires endeavoring to obliterate confirmation at a variety of prominent individuals' homes, and Guantanamo Bay being set up for the deluge of American prominent detainees. There is a lot of confirmation out there for the individuals who comprehend what to search for. Devour your eyes on these fine illustrations. As revealed by Fox and Phoenix, President Trump simply sent the Arizona Army National Guard to watch over detainees at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Why? There are presently just 41 detainees there. Clearly, there will soon be numerous more detainees in Gitmo and since the National Guard was sent in, these will no doubt be prominent detainees. The National Guard has been sent there for the following nine months, so we can expect this flood of prominent detainees to occur amid this day and age. Remember that recently chose Trump contended energetically to keep Guantanamo Bay open. As the Miami Herald report, straight from his guarantee to deplete the marsh and bolt up Hillary Clinton, Trump indicated at a future part for Gitmo. Did he have everything arranged in those days? After Trump's hurricane began to 2018, and the inquisitive occasions being unobtrusively cover the edge of the news, it is starting to look that way. Two or three months back, we revealed that John McCain and Hillary Clinton were likely wearing surgical boots to shroud lower leg screens. A broadly degenerate California congresswoman is currently additionally wearing one and Huma Aden has begun wearing 70s-style ringer base pants to conceal her lower leg screen, see picture. Likewise as of late, we had the Trump official request that took into consideration the solidifying of benefits of those associated with human rights infringement and debasement. This request takes into account what just occurred with the Regal family in Saudi Arabia. The inquiry is the reason now? For what reason do you have to solidify resources now? Curiously, the official request has a rundown of around 10 individuals subject to this request. These individuals are outside people however all are attached to the Clintons somehow. It is winding up obvious that the posting of remote people is a smoke screen for what is going on in the background. Gitmo prepares for influx of high-profile prisoners. NPR likewise let some exceptionally fascinating data out of the SEC as of late. As they report, lawyers will now be permitted to visit their customers at Guantanamo Bay. This has never been permitted. A military judge as of late requested the difference in rules. Why? We are discussing a jail that has tormented its prisoners, set canines on them, taken bare pictures of them, and so forth. Why are they now abruptly worried about human rights? I speculate the sort of detainees held there will soon be changing. There will be American detainees of the prominent assortment, whose segments of general society will request have a greater number of rights than your normal Gitmo prisoner. Next, we have Resistance Secretary Mattis visit Guantanamo Bay on December 21, as announced by the New York Post, to offer occasion welcome to the troops there. No defense secretary has gone to Guantanamo Bay in 16 years. Mattis turned out poorly to visit the troops who are guarding just 41 detainees. The wishing of occasion welcome to the troops is a main story for the genuine motivation behind his visit which was to guarantee that Guantanamo Bay is prepared for another deluge of detainees. Still not persuaded something weird is going on at Guantanamo Bay? There have likewise been numerous current reports of continuous and mystery flights to Guantanamo Bay, which have either left for Guantanamo Bay from the Washington, D.C. territory or came back to the Washington, D.C. zone in the wake of leaving Guantanamo Bay. You can read the insights about these flights at a discourse on Reddit here. Human Trafficking Month. What's more, we have this jewel. Just before the turn of the new year, Trump pronounced January 2018 the National Anti-Slavery and Human Trafficking Month. Huh? When I read this I couldn't trust it. To by far most of individuals, subjugation finished in the 1860s and human trafficking isn't something that happens in the U.S. committing the principal month of 2018 to abrogating present-day servitude and human trafficking is an unmistakable endeavor by Trump to motivate individuals to wake up, instruct themselves, and not be stunned by what is going to go down. Finally, 
There are right now very nearly 10,000 fixed prosecutions in government courts all through the U.S. This number is to a great degree high. This has just been vigorously talked about and shows a certain something and one thing just, mass captures will soon happen. Any individual who can put two and two and two and two and two and two together can read the lay of the land and make sense of shouldn't something be said about to happen. An enormous bust of numerous prominent individuals associated with human rights manhandle is going to occur, in all probability this month and certainly in the following nine months. These prominent individuals will be sent to Guantanamo Bay and face military courts. Littler players will be managed in the government court framework. The work has been going ahead in the background amid a large portion of 2017. No measure of pulverizing proof in house fires, bleach bit wrecked equipment, or dead individuals, including lawyers, will spare them from confronting equity this time.